Hello, hello. <laughs> um, I'm just waiting to see. Ah, uh, yes. It's all coming together. <clears throat> I'm using a different browser today. My um, my Chrome browser. I don't know what is going on, but Facebook is going really, really slow. Um, on both my computer and my laptop. So it's two different devices. So I have no idea why Chrome is doing that to me, but I'm using a different browser. So <coughs> hopefully it all looks good and is coming through okay. It looks fine from my end. So um, another thing is I totally mucked the times up for this. I, I missed last week's Tuesday chat and then this week's Tuesday chat I um, was thinking it was 10 o'clock and then I realized it was nine o'clock and then it was quarter past and it was like I'll just wait till 10. <laughs> so um, it's been a busy week. So let me know if you can um, if you're here say hi let me know you can hear me okay. Um, today I just wanted to have a little chat about my um, online art membership. Um, many of you guys that, that watch this are already members but there's also this goes out publicly of course to everyone so I just want to have a chat about um, my membership, why I started it, um, what's involved in it and the doors are open till Friday. Okay so it's only one week only. Okay so um, Alright, I'm just checking comments there. Everything looks pretty good. So um, we also had, we've just wrapped up um, the five day challenge, which I do um, one of those a year. I do, the doors to my premium tier of membership opens a couple of times a year. But um, the challenge, like the full five day challenge or coaching week, um, there's a lot of work that goes into getting that ready and um, and doing that. So that I really only do a, a big one like that once a year. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jennifer, and hi, Esmo and Marianne. Um, so that's just wrapped up, and um, so we did that last week, and then we're um, this week the the membership doors are open to the premium tier, um, and yeah. It went so well and I um, just want to thank everyone that that joined in on that. I think we had all of my existing members had free entry to the challenge. They do every year. If you're a member, you get um, free access to that, of course. Um, but we had, I think, about 120 um, new students joined in on that. And if you've seen some of my posts, I've been sharing um, montages of what they've been up to and just yeah blows my mind they're just all so different but also so good um, and we've had complete beginners right through to experienced artists there and um, we just finished our draw along which was Thursday and Friday night um, it's that gum flare in the background but I drew it twice so it's here as well <laughs> so um uh, this was our draw along session and um, I'm going to put a montage together today of that and um, share that with everyone but they just were were amazing and um, everyone you know, had such a good time as they do every every time I run it so um, yeah so thanks for those that were part of the challenge that was really cool and um, yeah always fun. So like I said, the doors to my premium tier of the Creative Barn are open. I have two tiers, the premium, which has all the community and live events. And then we have the essentials, which is just the tutorials. There is a fairly big price difference between the two. And um, you can choose whichever one sort of suits you at the time. If the essentials tier, the bottom tier with the tutorials, that one's open all year round. And if you are part of that membership, you can always upgrade to the higher one, to the premium at any time you want. You just have to give me an email. So, um, so if the premium 
isn't quite right for you just yet you could always join the lower one and then upgrade later on once you feel you, you need that extra support um, so the reason so the membership is I teach realistic wildlife and nature art that's pretty much it in um, soft pastels charcoal and graphite and the reason I fell in love with drawing I've always loved animals so every time I've gone to draw anything throughout my life it's usually been an animal and I just absolutely fell in love with soft pastels drawing animal just to be animals to get I don't think any other medium can give you the softness that it gives for fur um, feathers and, and just that soft coat of an animal um, it just really lends itself to that um, and if you've seen a soft pastel painting in real life you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about they're just I don't know there's just something about it it's just such a beautiful medium for drawing animals um, and especially I love drawing the eyes which is why I draw the eyes first as well because they're my favorite part so I like to start with that to get me inspired um, and then I just also love bringing it to life like it's it's as though when you've drawn the eyes it's sort of watching you it's like the soul of the animal is there waiting for you to to bring it to life sort of on your paper and um, yeah it's it's weird but it's how I um, I feel they I don't know you can't say they have a personality <laughs> but maybe they do I don't know it's as though yeah they you could just reach out and touch them it's as though you look into the eyes of the animal and um, and, it, and it's you know there's something there it's not just a flat bit of it's just not a flat drawing there's there's something and to the animal and that's what I, I love about it and I especially love when people who see my work like just you know you could just sit, stand and stare at, at them for ages and look in the eyes and and think there's something happening there um, so that that's sort of why I love drawing animals um, and kind of why I also started the membership so um, when we moved to the farm here I got involved in the local community um, art group I look really blurry on my screen it's really distracting but hopefully I'm not too blurry for you guys um, so I was asked to teach in the teach pastels in the local community here and um, that's when it got me thinking that I, I've done a lot of workshops myself with other artists I think it's a great way to learn is to go to different teachers that inspire you don't get stuck in just with just one I always encourage everyone to go to others as well um, but that feeling of a workshop you know when you, you attend a workshop um, you really feel inspired you're so excited to, to do it and the whole day with other artists and it's just it really keeps you motivated and um, you know you'll go home and you might do a bit more but over a few days that excitement and inspiration kind of wanes off um, and that's sort of where I wanted to try and recreate that online um, because I know there's you can piece together YouTube videos um, there's online te like teaching like Patreon um, is it Udemy like there's all different online courses but they're just a standalone course there's nothing to you might get excited when you first purchase it maybe but there's nothing to keep you being inspired a bit like when you attend a workshop it's, you're, it's exciting for the day but but then I know myself as an artist it's inspiration is is hard to find sometimes um, and we do procrastinate a lot so um, that's sort of why I created the membership so that it's there's of course um, over a hundred different tutorials in there um, thousands of dollars worth of trainings and it's growing grows every month um, but it's all about me trying to keep everyone inspired and excited every month to um, keep going um, so kind of like in that workshop experience so I'm trying to recreate that online to students all over the world who um, can't come to any in-person in lessons with me but 
um, we do a lot of Zoom sessions to try and um, um, recreate that. So that's sort of why I started the membership and why it's it's so much more than just an online course or online lessons. Um, it's more about that whole workshop experience. So I've got, um, uh, when you first join, I'm just going to, I forgot to share my, I go in through Zoom, so I can't share my screen today. But um, when you first join the membership, I've got, um, it's called a path to success, like a blueprint for your path to success. And it just runs through the different stages in the membership. So I thought I'd just share a little bit about those here. So um, the the main tutorials in the membership, and this is the premium tier I'm talking about, um, you start off as a uh, hatchling, so an excited novice, and um, you enjoy being creative and love nature and wildlife. You admire the realistic animal art you see online, but you don't believe you have the skill to draw anything like that yourself. You're excited to get started and anxious to learn the fundamentals of drawing wildlife and nature. So you're probably thinking that you want to learn to draw, but you're not sure if you can. And you're ner nervous that you don't have natural talent to draw. You feel overwhelmed with how much information is out there and you don't know where to start. So this is the first stage. This is the hatchling stage. And this is where all the fundamental lessons are. So um, you'll, you'll learn all the difference between the right papers, um, the right sort of pastel supplies, charcoal supplies, all of that. You're also learning drawing fundamentals like the elements of art, colour theory, all stuff like that. So that's where if you're totally new to art, a complete beginner, you're, you're fine because you, you can start in that hatchling um, module and that, that'll get you off to a great start. And then the next stage is called the budding creative and that's the chick. So you're ready to learn the techniques to create realistic animal drawings. You have basic knowledge of shading tones and the color wheel and you're starting to experiment with different drawing mediums. So at this point you're thinking you've drawn before but you've never had formal lessons. You're keen to learn from a structured process and make progress with your art. You know that to master anything is a long process and you're keen to get started learning the techniques to master realistic animal art. Okay, so in this stage, um, I've broken all the elements and down. Um, so textures and elements of different animals. Uh, so you'll have like lessons on eyes, lessons on fur, feathers, different skin types. Um, different sort of textures as well that you might come across in nature, things like that. So how I, I, the reason I've done it this way is first of all, the fundamentals, that stage one is so important. You can go back to that all the time. Uh, then this, this way, I think if you're, you can get confident learning how to draw different elements of an animal, like I do breakdown lessons as well, um, regularly. So, I think if you can get confident with that, then when you go on to draw a big, like full portrait of an animal, you kind of already know how you're going to tackle it. So it's not as daunting. So that's what this whole um, budding creative chick stage is all about, is getting used to um, drawing those different elements. Um, okay, and then we move on to stage three, which is the hen. and. Um, you're an emerging artist at this point. So you're eager to learn new methods and mediums. You're mastering blending and highlighting. You can draw all the facial features of an animal with realism and know how to create different fur lengths. You're gaining more confidence in your art. So you're starting to think that um, you're getting better at this. It's something I can learn. And you're feeling a lot more confident and not embarrassed to show others your artwork. I think that's one of the big things to know if you've progressed is when you start out, you don't want to show anyone <laughs> your work, maybe your husband, maybe. <laughs> but once you get further along, if you're confident to show friends and family your work, you know you've progressed and you've, you're building that confidence, which that is so important. 
So the hen stage, this module is where all my full tutorials will be. So, um, or are. So say the gum nut, this will live in the hen stage because it's a full um, portrait. Um, back behind me, I don't know if you can see this bit of a leopard face and I don't know which way I'm going, but there's a rhino. So all full, full portraits that you could frame and hang. So that's what's in the um, hen stage. And um, I think I counted every, every month um, they're added to. So there's a couple of lessons every month that goes into the hen especially, but even into the chick and, and the hatchling. Um, I think there's over 60 full length tutorials. So each tutorial is um, broken down into steps so you click on that tutorial, you'll find your resources. So everything you need to know, equipment lists, reference image, line art, all of that. Um, I always have a picture of my finished drawing because that I think sometimes helps people to um, to work from. I prefer them to work from a photo, but if, if you need to see my drawing to help, um, then that's always there as well. Um, then there's quite often a workbook, a step-by-step -step workbook included as well. Um, and then the video is broken down, so usually it's like transferring the image is one video, then um, I always work from the background f furthest away forward, so the background first, so then I um, there'll be a, a video just on background, then a video on another section, so it's broken into parts like that, just so it's not too overwhelming. I try and keep though each lesson like that under an hour, um, sometimes they have to go over, but in general, most of those tutorials, like I said, there's there's over 60 in there, but most of them are a few hours long um, because that's just, if you want to draw in realism, that's what it takes. Like the, the gum flower we did, um, that was about a f uh, probably three hours, I would say. But, of course, um, if you're not as um, fairly quick because I've been drawing for so long, um, but that could have maybe been about a three to four hour um, less, like taken that long for other people. So it's definitely not for the faint hearted <laughs> drawing and realism, but it is a lot of fun and it's you can really get into that flow state because you are just um, concentrating and, and drawing away there. Especially I find if I'm drawing fur, I do that because it's really... Um, um, repetitive I suppose and you just sort of drift off with the fairies <laughs> all right so the hen stage so that one was all about the main tutorials and then we have a last stage in um, in the premium tier so in that essentials tier the the lower tier I was talking about um, those first three stages are what is in there so you have access to all the main tutorials and then in the premium tier, you get the fourth stage, which is called the Rooster, and that's the creative genius. So you're proud to show off your latest artwork and are continually learning new techniques. You're starting to focus on creating your own original work. You're giving your work confidently to family and friends, along with entering local art competitions. So you're giving your work, but you're also hopefully starting to sell your work as well to family and friends. Um, so you're thinking you found your niche and style and you can actually call yourself an artist. Um, and you're feeling proud of how far you've come and you didn't give up. So in the rooster stage, this is where not everyone uh, wants to sell their work or make money from their art. A lot of people just want to do it as a hobby, which is perfectly okay. Um, but this stage is you've built up enough confidence by now that if you do want to try and make a little bit of money, you could start ex exhibiting in galleries, um, doing collaborative art shows with other artists in your area, um, starting to maybe take on commission work, uh, all that sort of stuff. So in this module, it has little tips and tricks of, um, you know, um, say with the there's one on commissions like there's a sample contract to give to clients um, how to price your work things like that then there's like framing um, 
so all, all stuff that that next level like entering competitions um, I can't even think of half the other things there's quite a lot in every every module but like I said this one gets added to as well so um, so that's they're the four main stages there are a couple of other modules inside the membership there's a creativity booster and an inside the studio which um, the inside the studio has a lot of um, um, like goal setting and mindset all of that sort of stuff um, meet the masters which is all about taking inspiration from other amazing artists um, and then the creativity booster that's just got a few little you know right brain activities things like that just smaller little fun lessons that you might want to do if you're feeling you want to be creative but you don't want to do a, a big start a big big lesson you could go in and do that and they're also really good fun ones in there if you've got kids um, who are bored on school holidays <laughs> there's some really great little lessons in there that um, you could give to the kids to do as well okay so there they're sort of that's the technical part of the membership with all your learning and um, modules all of that sort of stuff um, but what I also think is the biggest thing with the um, I'll just close that with the premium membership is the community and the live session so like I was saying earlier I'm trying to recreate live workshops to keep everyone inspired so um, we do every month we have um, quite a few live events now you don't have to show up to all of these they're all recorded some people like to just attend the lives um, and maybe not do too much of the tutorial the existing tutorials because when you join you have access to all the existing tutorials so like I said there's a few thousand dollars worth of lessons in there that you instantly have access to straight away um, but some some members like to do that and maybe just come to one live um, or others come to all the lives and don't worry as much with the the old older lessons so we have um, uh, every week we do a creative play hour it's just a zoom session where we can all get together and chat while we're just working on our own stuff um, then we have our main um, draw along every month that's an, another zoom session where um, I have two cameras so there's one on me just talking but then the, my main camera is on my desktop so you can draw along with me so I set the um, the subject that we're drawing and everyone sort of has their paper ready to go and then we just um, draw like everyone follows along with that one um, so that's a lot of fun even if you just come for the chat for that that's still a lot of fun as well um, and then we also have a zoom art chat where we all just um, I, I usually come to the art chat with a topic art related that we talk about but then of course we wander off and go in different directions with that as well so you, that's on a Sunday morning just um, join with a coffee and have a nice chat and then I have a a, a monthly Q&A as a Facebook live where we draw we play bingo in the group so I draw the bingo for that and you can win a $50 Amazon um, voucher and um, so that's in the Facebook group so that's a really main part as well is we have a private um, members only Facebook group for just the premium tier members so it's really really active and um, that's where you can safely share your work in there if you're trying to build your confidence and you're a bit scared to like just put it on your Facebook page with friends and family you can put it into the private group and ask for critique or um, just if you're proud of it just share it um, and and every member in that Facebook group have their own folder so that you can keep a track of your own work so um, yeah it's a it's a really good way to be able to quickly look back um, on how far you've come rather than having to scroll through all these photos you can just go straight to your folder and um, and see over say a six-month period the improvement you've made 
which is another great motivation. Um, and then, yeah, we have different games, game boards, things like that, that, um, like I said, it's all about keeping everyone inspired to stay in the group and to keep moving forward. So, um, yeah, so I've put the link in to this chat um, for anyone who is interested uh, in finding out a bit more. You can click on that and that'll tell you the difference between the two different tiers of the membership. Okay, so um, I don't know if anyone, there's quite a few members on here at the moment. Did anyone have any questions at all? Um, I know I'm like an hour late, so I've probably <laughs> messed up everyone's time here. Um, but I'm just checking that I have gone through. Oh, I should probably mention the price as well, shouldn't I? The membership, um, the membership is in um, US dollars. So, and when you when you join, you lock in the price. So if it does go up in future, you're locked in at the price that you you joined at. So at the moment, it's um, 19 US a month uh, for the essential tier, which is the one that has those first three modules. The the, the stage one, two, and three. So the hatchling, chick, and hen, and then for the premium tier, which includes everything and all of your um, your Zoom sessions, the Facebook group, all of that. That one is 33 US a month. Um, and if you click that link, you'll see there's yearly prices as well where you save a fair bit as well. Um, if you join yearly, you um, can save, um, I think it's around 50 US, something like that. I'm not sure, I can't remember. So yes, definitely. Um, did you mention your fabulous annual retreat? No, I didn't die. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Um, also, another thing I have going on at the moment as well is um, I do a, a um, art retreat in Tasmania every March. And um, it's absolutely amazing. Stunning, stunning place. I'd never been to Tassie and um, we went there our first retreat was last March um, and Gillian from Artable hosts the retreats and she knows her stuff and my god the food everything was amazing we went out on little tours um, we were getting our own reference images to create our own paintings and um, we might mix it up a bit this time I think I'm going to bring a bit more creative play into it as well so that's on again next March but you can, um, let me just <clears throat> see if I can find, hold on, bear with me. I'm going to um, try and get the link and put it in to the group here. So that one's on, yeah, next March. It's a four-day art retreat. Um, I did have a five-day retreat, but it is booked out. But the four-day retreat still has space. Um, here it is here, and it's um. There's a couple of different pricing for the retreat. Oh, actually, let me go to that. Um, art retreat. There we go. Hold on, I can't, I can't. Why can't I talk and do things at the same time? I don't know. Does everyone else have that problem? <laughs> Taste. Okay. All right, so I've put the art retreat link in there as well. So um, if you want to do a share room, so if you've got a friend coming, um, or I can see if I can slot you in with someone else, but it's, I think it's around $14.95 for the four nights, and that includes everything. It includes all your food, your transfer from Launceston Airport, and um, your um, all the art supplies you need. You just have to get to Launceston Airport. And that's a share, that's a twin share. Or if you want your own room, um, it's $19.95. So, um, so yeah, the link, <coughs> God, I'm running out of, I've been talking all week. <laughs> the, um, the link is there if, if the art retreat is something you're interested in. But okay, Chloe, there can be some opportunities for members to have input 
<clears throat> in the monthly drawing subjects and themes yes definitely um, the membership is very inclusive <clears throat> I should have brought some water down <laughs> so every month I, I have a theme so I do have themes planned out for probably six months in advance um, but I always take input from all the members so um, if they want to do insects maybe then I'll make sure we do a month of insects um, one of the members wanted baby animals so we did baby animals one one month so um, it's it's really fun having that theme this upcoming so this month because we had the challenge one of the members actually mentioned Australian native flowers so I thought that would be perfect for the challenge as well so this month's theme is Australian native flowers um, which is why we've done the Waratah and the gum, gum flower. Next month is um, um, working from life. So, so we'll, um, there'll be a set tutorial, but I'm encouraging everyone to get out in their own backyard and try and come up with a composition of their own um, to work on a, a fully um, created portrait from their, their own, own life sort of thing, not using any um, any like reference photos from the internet or anything so um, that'll be a good one and then yeah we have all different things coming up so we had an underwater one um, we're having horses is coming up so yeah lots of different things and like Chloe said it's very inclusive um, and interactive so you are it's not a huge membership, the premium tier, that's why I only open it a couple of times a year because I, I don't, I know there's other amazing memberships out there. Um, a lot aren't, don't, aren't as interactive as the Creative Barn, but some have thousands of students, so you kind of get a little bit lost in the crowd, whereas um, you won't feel that way at all in the premium tier um, it's me and me alone I'm gonna maybe try and recruit my daughter in if I need a bit of help Chloe helps me out um, in the group in the Facebook group and stuff but if yeah if you have any if you're emailing me or messaging me you know you're talking to me so I'll um, help you out with if you have any tech issues or anything at all like that so you're certainly not lost in the crowd and when we do our Zoom sessions we all, everyone gets to know each other. You, you put the name to the face and um, it's, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It is a really, um, it's a really great group of women. I, I, it's quite funny actually because I don't, I've never set out to make it only women um, but that is all it is so I'm sticking with that <laughs> because um, it just seems to be um, women that are drawn to what I do maybe um, maybe men aren't really interested in drawing um, the wildlife and nature in in that realism style but it's, it's silly because there are a lot of men out there that draw in that style but maybe they feel they don't need need a community a group women tend to share a lot more don't we so that could be it guys probably like to work by themselves a bit more so yeah so it it really is a, a women's um art group <laughs> so, but no it's a lot of fun and um good time so all right i think that is it if you do have any other questions um you can pop them in in the chat here or you can message me or or just um yeah um, I think if you go into that link to the membership, there's also a contact Kerry. You can email me. Like, yeah, <laughs> Di, maybe it's just our female nattering. You know what? When we first, when I first started the membership, we did have um, a, a guy, uh, Jim. His name was absolutely most lovely fella you'd ever meet. And um, on the draw along sessions, he he always said we sounded like a bunch of hens. <laughs> and chattering or whatever <laughs> and it used to make us laugh but he did come along but he ended up moving um i don't know things changed he moved or something happened i can't remember but um he had to drop out 
but yeah so I'm definitely not against men joining by any means but it just seems at this point it's all women <laughs> and yeah maybe when we do all get together we do sound a bit um, noisy oh Hilton you're a guy I'm so sorry <laughs> No, you're definitely not kicked out at all. Like I said, we did have Jim, and um, but it's just yeah, we just I don't know what it is. I don't seem to attract men. So, um, but no, they're definitely welcome, welcome, um, open arms. <laughs> and you're in a great group of women. You'd be very special being the only guy in here too. <laughs> a lone rooster. Yeah, you're very right, Chloe. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, so no, it's definitely open to everyone. It's just, um, yeah, <laughs> there's just no guys in there at the moment. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And for those that did join in on the challenge, I hope you had a great time. Um, and yeah, just keep in mind the doors to the membership are closing on Friday. Friday at midnight. So, um, um yeah, so if you want to get in, get in um, before that. Uh, otherwise, like I said, the, the lower tier will remain open, but that premium tier will shut, and that's so I can focus my time on the the members and new members, um, making sure they know their way around, and they they um, we do some we can do some one on one zooms or whatever. Um, I just I don't like having other premium members coming in throughout the year like different times because it, it gets confusing because people don't know where to find things and I'd rather spend my time in in the group just making sure everyone's fine so okay um thanks for joining me next Tuesday chat I'll actually get back to talking about something else art related um but I just thought this one because while the doors are open I'd better um go through what it's all about so um Anyway, thanks guys, and I will, I'll see a lot of my members tomorrow um, for our creative play session. Otherwise, I will see, um, I'll talk to everyone next Tuesday. All right, thanks for joining me. Bye.